Hi, this is Nicole from Cotton Cuts. I am back with two of my three daughters. My name is Lola again. This is and Annabelle. Who are, you? who are you? Annabelle. She's Annabelle. Reagan is not here because okay, she's yes. listening to Reagan me. is preoccupied right now. So today we're going to talk dresses. And lots of little girls and adults love dresses. So today we are going to use the Modern Makers box um, of woven fabric. And we are going to be making this dress from Little Lizard King. It is Birmingham. This is not uh, Cotton Cuts fabric. This is just an example of another one I've made. From the house. Yes, this is a very simple, great beginner pattern. And if buttonholes worry you, that is not a bother at all because we will be using snaps. So we are going to get started using the fabric from the Modern Makers box from Cotton Cuts. Before we begin sewing, we want to cut out our pattern pieces. This pattern consists of a front bodice and lining, a back bodice and lining, a bottom bodice as well as lining, a placket, and two, uh, one skirt front and then one skirt back. So first we're going to begin by pinning or using our clips and attaching our front bodice to our back bodice. So we are going to put our clips right at the shoulder seams and then we are going to use a half inch seam allowance which means that our needle is going to be all the way to the left and we are going to sew right at those shoulder seams. We're going to repeat this step for the lining and then we're going to press our seams open. Are you ready? Is it sewing time? It is! Yay! One, two. Ready? Okay, now we're gonna start sewing. Okay, let's line it up. Okay, remember, put your press your foot, press your foot down, and then remember, you have to start with one, two, three with the back stitch. One, one, two, three, stop, and then keep on going. One, two, three, stop. Okay, so now we're gonna press our seams open on both the main fabric and our lining pieces right at the shoulder. Just like that. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we are going to line up our front and back bodice pieces. And then we're going to take our clips and we are going to clip around the back right here, the neckline, and both armholes. When we're done with that, we're going to go to the machine and we are going to sew that again with a half inch seam allowance. Okay, remember, before you begin, when you just start the beginning, you have to say one, two, three. One, two, three. The back stitch. So I am doing the uh, all of the curves because I have not gone over that with Lorelai yet. I only know how to as we to pick to pick that will be one of our videos soon, right, Mom? No, actually, I think Teresa might be doing pillowcases. Ah. Uh. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to clip all of our corners and then we are also going to clip um, right around where our neck hole is and our arm hole. One way of doing that is if we use our pinking shears, which everyone at Cotton Coats knows I am obsessed with my pinking shears. And what they do is it allows the um, it allows the cotton to give a little stretch so that when we turn it inside out, or right side out, I should say, uh, we will have a nice... Right now it is. It's inside out, right. We will have a nice neckline and a nice arm holes. We are going to turn our bodice right side out by pulling it through the shoulders. Okay, so 
So when we have turned it inside out, we're gonna make sure those corners are nicely She meant right side through. in. Right side out, yes. We're going to push those corners nicely through, which we will get a nice corner since we snipped those. And then we're gonna go ahead back to our iron and we are going to press this so that it is nice, so that it looks very nicely so then we can go back and we can top stitch. Okay, so now we go back to, with our iron and we are going to give this a nice press so that it lays beautiful. So now we're gonna top stitch along the back, the the neck and the back. Great, and when we top stitch, we want our needle all the way to, to the, the right. right. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Mom, what is this? So this is gonna be the bottom of the bodice, which is your top part. So we are going to work on attaching that right now. How does that sound? Great. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to face our lining side up. Then we're going to take our, the back of our bodice and we are going to line it up just like so. Then we are going to take our main fabric and we are going to sandwich that right in between, just like that, okay? And then we are going to do our clips and we are going to clip it basically in an L, just like Lorelei. And then we are it's, going to- My name is said just an L. Gonna, yep, we're gonna repeat just this. Just like a pillowcase. Yep, we're gonna repeat this onto the on the other side and then we're gonna take it to our machine and we are going to sew that L, just like so. <laughs> going to sew the L. Remember, put your pressing foot down always before sewing, or your sewing machine will get all jammed up. One, two, three, three. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to trim our seam allowance as well as clip our corners. This will give us a nice corner when we turn it the right side out. We are going to turn this inside out and we are going to look at our nice bottom of our back bodice and we are going to give that a nice pressing with the iron real quick. We're using our lining fabric as the main on the back so that it kind of breaks it up and it looks, it gives it a little something different. When mom is ironing, I made a necklace. Now we're going to top stitch our the bottom of our bodice in an L um, right up, right over where we had just sewn. Oh, what's next? I thought this was supposed to be easy. It is an easy dress, silly. <laughs> So now but then why is it taking so long to make? Because dresses take a long time. They take about an hour on the easy side and up to three for the more difficult. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our lining fabric and flip it up on the front bodice. And then we're gonna take our back bodice and we are going to fold it over onto the front. You do it with all of them. Right, thank you, Lorelai. And then this back part that we have that's holding, that's, that we can still see, we are going to fold it over on top, just like so, and then 
we are going to do this on both sides. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't look like a dress. Mom, but that doesn't look like a dress. It will look like a dress when we're done, silly. Okay. <laughs> So now we're gonna take this back to the machine and we are going to sew what we just clipped with, with a... You meant I am. Yeah, so you are with a half inch seam allowance and then we are just going to trim our seam allowance and then our bodice part will Which be done. I did not know that because I never made it just Right, well let's go ahead and sew that. Okay, let's go. So right when you start, you go one, two, three, then you know, the machine's going backwards. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep on going until you reach the end. Okay, so now we're gonna trim our seam allowance. Just like we did before. Uh -huh. Let's just stick it in. So, go. I'm just using my pinking shears just because my other scissors are not Mommy, with stop. me to go through all these layers. And she it's loves stop. pinking shears so much. I do love she did, but She did say that. Do it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now I turned um, our bodice right side out after I sewed that, and now our bodice is complete. We will be adding the snaps in just a bit, but if you notice, it makes a triangle and back just like our um, fabric from the Modern Makers box. Which so now I kind of like that it's a triangle because. Right. It's really cool. Exactly. So now we're going to put this to the side and we're going to take our skirt out. So right here we have two uh, we have two skirts. One is our front and one is our back. They're the same. It doesn't matter which one you choose um, to be the front or the back. And what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to unfold this and then we are going to put them right sides together. Then if you have a serger, you are going to serge. Someone taught me to do right sides yep. together with um, a two-third pillow, I think. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to serge these together, the right side using our half-inch seam allowance. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch. For um, The serger just gives it a more professional finish. After we serge it together, we are going to, this is gonna be the bottom of our skirt. We are going to fold it over a fourth of an inch in iron, then fold it over another fourth of an inch in iron, and then we are going to sew that and that will be the seam for the bottom of our skirt. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to serge it and then I will be right back just because I don't have my serger um, right in the room that we are taping. And it would be really dangerous to do it on the call. <laughs> yes. So now if you look, I have serged this edge and it looks all nice and professional. You can also, like I said, you could use a zigzag stitch on your machine as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up about a fourth of an inch and we are going to just iron it. And we are going to do this all around the perimeter of the skirt. Now we are going to top stitch our skirt and sew the hem. Yep, we're going to sew the hem of the skirt. skirt. Alright, okay, so let's so go. go. So mom, are you sure we're almost done? Because I can't wait to wear it. I'm sure we're almost done. We just have to make the placket and gather the skirt, then we're gonna Wait, attach it to this top. What is the placket? The placket is basically, you use this in wovens and you create a little slit down the middle of the skirt so that we can pull what it up it easier over like, your hips. What does it look like this? Well, so that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so basically you wanna locate the middle of your skirt, which is right here. Then I took my ruler and my disappearing ink pen and I drew a line that was two and three fourths. Then I took out, I drew a one fourth of an inch box all the way around and created a V. What we're gonna do now is we are going to cut along that line and along that V. It doesn't even look like a shape. The bottom almost looks like a triangle. It does look like a triangle right now, huh? Mm-hmm. You were asking what this hole is? Yes. So what we're gonna do is we are going to separate this so it lays flat. So I'm just gonna turn my skirt okay. this right way. Because right now it just looks like that, um, 
that our dress would be like a big mistake. It wouldn't even look like it. Right. So what we're going to do is we have our placket piece right here. We are going to take the placket side is going to be touching the wrong side of the fabric. And we are going to just go ahead and line this up and use our clips. If you notice, we have a W that has formed right here. When we go to our machine, we are going to use a 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance and we are going to make sure that we sew underneath that W and we're going to try and go slow so that we don't get a pucker right there. Mom, what is a pucker? A pucker is when the fabric kind of bunches up and we don't want it to do that. So we're going to try our best not to do that, but if it happens a little, it's homemade and it's, it's okay. You'll barely notice it. You know you'll have to help me with this problem. Okay, well then let's go to the machine and do it. One, two, three. Okay, so now what I've done is I have flipped my pack placket up so that now we see the wrong side of the fabric. We are going to fold it over and iron. And then we are going to fold it over again. So now it is covering that seam that was right there. And we are going to iron that. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to stitch right across there. So I am just going to put a stitch right across there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to trim the excess of she, she was right that that you could barely see it because I can't even see it. Well, that's good. So now it equals. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the left side of the placket and we are going to tuck it behind here and we're just going to put a little stitch right there so it bases it in place. And then I will show you then what happens. So I'm going to base that and I'll be right back. Mom, are we um gonna attach it now? We are. First, we have Yay. to. I know, this right? Will be done. Yeah. So first, what we have to do is we have to put do a gathering stitch. A gathering stitch is what gives it that nice mommy, can I um, draw? ruffles. Mommy, can I try right there, no, mommy? Not right now, but hold on, mm -hmm. sweetheart. So what we're gonna do is when we do a gathering stitch, we set our stitch length to the largest it can. So Lorelai and I are going to Mommy, we are going to dark. run our gathering no, stitch. No. Mommy, can I draw in the dark? Can I? Alright, so Lorelai and I are going to run our gathering stitch right now for you. Alrighty, let's go. So now we're gonna gather from one side of the pocket to the other. Remember with the gathering stitch, we do not back stitch. But you have to go this slow as you can go. Alright, let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna gather. So what we do is a little tip. So normally you're supposed to run two gathering stitches all the way across. For time's sake, I just do the one. But you're, and also another little tip is, so what we're gonna do is we take where our bobbin thread is, which is on the underside. If you take it from both sides, you can gather in half the time. So if you notice, I do this. Straighten it out. Well, oh, that looks really cool, Mom. Right, it goes so much faster when we are gathering from both sides at the same time. So now we have this gathered. What we're gonna do is we need to attach it to the bodice. So one side is going to, of our plaque is going to attach to this side. The other side is going to attach it to this side. And if you need to, you can spread your gathers out to make it fit the width of the bodice. And what you're going to do is when you have this all clipped together, you can use your serger for a more professional finish. If you don't want to use your serger, that is totally fine. You can use a zigzag on your sewing machine. Some people will run this on their sewing machine first before they go to their serger to kind of help hold it in place um, so that they don't lose any of their gathers. So that's another little tip for you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to go to my serger and I am just going to sew all the way around this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna top stitch all the way around and then we will be ready to add our snaps. We're at the last thing. We're gonna do the snaps. The snaps, right. And you can do snaps instead of buttonholes. So if you're a little nervous about doing buttons, snaps were perfect. And this kind of helps you do this. Right, snaps. yes, because we have this handy dandy from Cam Snaps. You can also get, um, I think, a different brand at either Joann's or your Hobby Lobby or Amazon, wherever you would like or to go. wherever they sell. Yes, wherever they sell it. And so, she has a flower decorated one, which I kind of like it. That's I know, I like it too. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's add our snaps. We're going to use this and we are going to poke a hole where we would like our snaps to go. So now it's going through all layers of the fabric. So Lorelei has chosen, she wants the blue snap on top. We put our blue snap in, just like that, and then on the back, we are going to use this. Then we take our cam snap pliers, and then put it under. Squeeze. Oh, hold on, hold on, it's not in yet. Now we can squeeze, and we squeeze really, 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 really tough. So then we take the other one. And do it the same thing. Yep, we put it through. And we put our cam snap plier underneath again. Hold on, let's line it up. Okay, now press, 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 press. All right, and there we go. So then, it snaps right at the top. Okay, it's a little tough at the beginning, but, but then, it unsnaps. So there you go, then, instead of a button, you have a snap. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do the two at the bottom now. So that concludes our making a dress video. But before I hold it up to Lorelei, we did kind of notice something it, a little it's, off. It's a little bit funny. Yeah. Now it's just going to be a top instead of a dress. And why is it going to be a top? Because the first part of reading the directions is to it's make sure it's so, long enough. Because it's so short. And we accidentally cut it at the top see, length. It's a, see, it's a top. We accidentally cut it at the top length instead of the dress length. So now Lorelei has a beautiful top. <laughs> and then look at the back. And we, like I said, we made this using the Modern Makers box from Cotton Cuts. Which, it is okay if you also made a mistake. Just make sure that it just, just, just say to yourself, oh, they made a mistake. Right, you, you make a mistake, but you can still wear it because it's a top now instead yes. of a dress. <laughs> so thank you so but much. My little sister Annabelle could still not wear it. Right, it's a little too big. It might be the right length for my three-year-old, but definitely it will be too big around the width. So thank you again for tuning in with us, and we will Watch see you next it. time. Bye-bye. Next time we're going to do totes.